Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to part 5 and in this part, we're going to render the data that we're getting into our custom cell and further customize our cell in order to make it like the app that I showed you before. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. In this tutorial, in this part, we're going to uh, render our uh, profile image view and just generally uh, customize our cell. And let's start right off by going to the page right here to the web image page that we're going to use for our image view loading and right at the bottom we have a liner here called pod I'm going to copy that and going to back to Xcode I'm going to open up our terminal and we're going to type in CD and drag our stack exchange right here into the terminal enter CD uh, and type in cd dot dot and then I'm gonna call pod init okay we're gonna already pod file here and now we're gonna call pod install and this is gonna install our pods and Xcode is gonna refresh right and so on so on and this is the wrong directory so we're gonna need to go back here uh, to our Um, see right here, and we're gonna open this file. We'll we'll have uh, this file open, so we're gonna open the other workspace. Okay, gonna open that. Gonna cl can close the other one. Yeah, yeah. Stop the tasks, and now. Uh, there is a project here. It's still gonna load all this stuff. Although, all right, we've got everything here, okay. And in this pod file right here, I'm gonna press copy that pod right that we specified, and go back to the terminal. Now we can enter pod install again, and it's gonna install the SD web image. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to install. It's gonna reload, and it's done. And now I can go back to our user cell. I'm gonna press Command B to build our project, so we have access to the web image so don't forget to um, to do the command B comment you can actually import the SD web image now as you can see and we tested the profile image earlier so it is printing we have the image view now we have the profile image so the next thing we can do is to say profile image dot SD or set uh, profile image view dot set sd dot set image with the URL. So before we do anything, we're gonna create a new URL called let profile image URL. It's the same as before. I'm gonna pass in the profile image like so. Uh, I'm going to pass in the profile image URL here. And uh, we're going to delete that. We don't need this. And now when we run it, let's see what's going to happen. Okay. As you can see, the pictures are being rendered on our screen. Like, perfect, perfect. Uh, okay, now we can actually remove the red background color and create our uh, display name in the label like so. And this is going to be number of lines one. And 
here we're gonna call display name label dot text equals to display name and we're gonna create that too let display name equals item uh, user dot display name gonna safely unwrap everything let's take a look okay and I'm gonna add that to our view and I'm gonna um, say uh, display name or top container add display name label whoops P I'm gonna call uh, center y anchor as well v dot center y anchor constrain it to the uh, p dot center y anchor with a constant of 20 All right so we are going to have two labels in the same um, view and you're gonna see what I mean and now we are Oh, I'm sorry it's gonna be minus 10 and now it's gonna be constraint to the leading anchor like so with a constant of 10 but we are going to use the display name uh, profile image view dot trailing anchor like so when we run it let's see what's gonna happen Alright, as you can see, it is being rendered here. Martin R, Matt, Leo, Debus, Rob. Looks great, doesn't it? Okay, let's go on. Now we're going to use our um, reputation label. I'm going to copy that. We don't need to type in everything. Uh, reputation label. And it's basically the same. I'm going to copy that too. Kind of reputation label here, and instead we're gonna use plus ten, so we don't have to use that. And before we start it again, we're gonna use. I'm gonna create a separator. Separ. Separator. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. Separator line, like so. Okay, that's great, that's great. And the separator line is gonna be of color light gray. I'm gonna put the separator line in to the top container view. Like so. And I'm gonna call the height anchor to be if 0 0.5 and I'm gonna put it into the leading anchor so basically a uh, full width oh sorry trailing anchor dot trailing anchor and then we're gonna put the top anchor to be um, the bottom anchor at the bottom anchor like so okay let's run it and let's see what's gonna happen it should give us a um, view right in the middle as we can see it is giving us this view right here but we're not seeing a reputation because we did not set it at the top so I'm gonna create a new variable reputation equals user dot reputation here and then call it reputation label dot text equals reputation easy as that easy as that okay let's go on and let's give it in oh okay it's it's an int so we can actually put that in right here like so and that's it Got a reputation. The 
okay now we can create um another label called uh, let's create all the ones that we need it's called post count label um what else uh score label and acceptance accept rate label okay so I'm gonna start off with the post count label so we're not in the header view anymore don't forget that we're gonna add it to the normal view now we're just gonna constrain it to the bottom of our top container view so you're gonna add uh, the post count label do all those things and call top anchor constrain it to the um, top container view dot bottom anchor with a constant of 10 and the lean anchor is going to be the p dot leading anchor with constant of 20 and that's it for that one copy that paste it twice the next one is score label score label and uh, accept rate label and it's gonna be the I'm gonna go it uh, continue to the bottom of our post count label so it's gonna be at the bottom and that's the same with the score label right here everything's of a constant of 10 everything's good now we just need to paste the uh, the text into this right let's take a look to say um, post count label the text equals whatever we put in so that post count user dot dot post count okay doesn't have it so it has probably the, u the item dot post count right here and then the score item dot score don't forget the separator and then the accept rate item dot accept okay the user has it okay now we can say accept rate uh, post count score label text equals score and the accept rate the text is the same right here accept rate Let's run it and see what's going to happen. Alright, as we can see, it is being rendered on the screen right here. Uh, what, what I don't like that it is not being um, rendered as the same as here like post count is light gray score is light gray as well and etc etc hey thanks so much for watching part 5 of my tutorial I hope you've learned how to use auto layout even more and design your customized cell even more and in the next part we're gonna fix a certain bug where the cell is not being rendered correctly and we're gonna fix that and as always keep coding and see you in the next one bye bye